Hello my friends! Welcome to my channel and a brand new Mexican style meal prep. If you've never been here before, I'm Jones and I'm here to help you find easy and delicious ways to feed you and your family on a plant-based diet. When you've got a busy schedule and you're trying to put meals on the table or in a lunchbox to go, it can be really difficult to eat healthy. I know I struggled with it in the past until I found meal prepping. By taking just a couple of hours on the weekend or a day off, you can prepare all kinds of healthy, delicious ingredients that you can throw together for easy meals during the week. But I understand that meal planning can take a lot of time and thought. That's why I've been creating this series of meal prep plans along with a printable PDF with a complete grocery list and meal plans so that you can eat healthy all week long without really having to think about it. I've done all the thinking for you. So today I'm going to show you a basic meal prep plan. We've got lots of delicious Mexican ingredients. Think beans, rice, sweet potatoes, cilantro and lime, and of course some chocolate. I'll show you a few different ways you can put these meals together and of course everything will be included in the meal plan and you can always go to my website vegerarchy.com for more recipe ideas. I'll leave the link to the blog and for the free PDF in the description box below. So if you're excited about meal prepping, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So like I said, there is a complete shopping list in the PDF, but here are some of the fresh ingredients we're going to be using, like tomatoes, cucumber, mango, cilantro, some avocado, and we'll have things like kale and lettuce for salads, some fresh salsa, bell peppers, onions, sweet potatoes, chia, rice, and not shown here are beans, of course. Speaking of beans, that's what we're going to start with first. I'm using black beans, but you can also use pinto beans for this meal prep. And I'm using the Instant Pot to cook mine, but if you want to do the stovetop method, I will have the full directions in the PDF and the blog post. We're also going to start with some rice, and I'm using brown rice, but feel free to use white rice if that's what you like. I do use white rice quite often because that's what my family likes. Um, just make sure you rinse it off really well and I'm cooking mine in a rice cooker but again I will have the directions for the stovetop method and the instant pot in the blog post. So I'm also dicing up a yellow onion and this is just going to add some extra flavor to the rice. I'm doing my Mexican style rice here that I've done in a previous video, although I'm not sure which one that is. If I can figure it out, I'll link it below. Um, but I do like to add some flavors to my rice when I'm doing the Mexican meal prep. It just makes everything so much more flavorful. And it's really easy to do because we're just going to toss all of this into the rice cooker and cook it all up at once. So here I am putting all the ingredients into my rice cooker. I'm also adding some crushed garlic. And I'm using three cloves here, but please go according to your own taste. I love garlic, so I like to use a lot of it, but some people don't like that much garlic, so feel free to either reduce the amount or don't put it in at all, but I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm also putting some ground cumin in there and some better than bouillon, which um, this one is just the vegetable flavor. But if you can get your hands on the roasted garlic flavor, that is my favorite one. So I'm just adding the water and then we're just going to set that to cook. And while the beans and the rice are cooking away, we're going to do some sweet potatoes. We're going to roast these in the oven and I'm going to do them a couple of different ways. So these ones I'm just poking some holes in and basically leaving them whole and just baking those. And then some of them I'm going to chop up into cubes. And then some of them I'm going to do just rounds. 
Um, I have a specific purpose for these in mind. It's a recipe that's coming up, but it is another good way to eat your sweet potatoes. Um, hint, hint, they're great in like a breakfast sandwich with biscuits. Mmm. So I'm just spraying them with a little bit of oil and then I'm going to sprinkle them with this homemade taco seasoning. But feel free to buy a taco seasoning or use whatever kind of seasoning you like. Since this is a Mexican style meal prep, I thought the taco seasoning was appropriate. You could also just use some chili powder. Um, and make sure you put some salt and pepper on there. Then I am putting those in my oven to roast. I'll have the full directions in the PDF. And now we're going to move on to making some pickled onions. You can't have a meal prep, Mexican style meal prep, <laughs> without pickled onions. Um, and I meant to keep this onion whole, but I ended up cutting it in half. That's perfectly fine. It just means you'll have smaller pieces. So once our onions are all sliced, we're just going to throw them all into a large mason jar. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to fill the jar halfway with some vinegar. I like to use rice vinegar because I just really like the flavor of it. But you can use apple cider vinegar or white wine vinegar. And then I'm filling the rest of the jar with some hot water. But this also works with cold water. I've done it that way before and it works just fine. And I make pickled beets this way as well. and They're really good. I guess I didn't show it here, but I also put a cinnamon stick in there. It really adds a very nice flavor. So moving on to salad. If you saw my last meal prep video, you know that I love to prep a nice big salad because it really helps assure that I eat my veggies throughout the week. Um, I can eat it as a salad or I can throw it into sandwiches or wraps. But having a salad already made is just so helpful because there's a lot of days where I'm really lazy and I would not make the effort to make a salad. But if there's one already made, I will definitely eat it. And it's especially great if I'm working because then I can just throw it in a container and take it to work with me. So now I am prepping some kale. This is some beautiful looking kale. And this is another thing that um, is kind of optional. If you don't like kale, you might not want to do this step, but kale is so nutritious and it's just really something that you should try to incorporate in your diet if you haven't already. And having it all just sort of chopped and ready to go makes it so that you can throw it into soups or stews or make a quick salad out of it and I just love doing it this way. I like to wrap it up in a clean dish towel and put that in an airtight container in the fridge and that'll keep it fresh for a really long time. So now we're going to make our cilantro lime sauce with some soaked raw cashews, some spices like paprika and onion powder and salt, some nutritional yeast, a clove of garlic, plenty of fresh cilantro and also some sliced jalapeno and a little bit of water as well as some fresh squeezed lime juice. Don't forget the freshly ground black pepper. Then we're just going to blend that all up until it is nice and creamy. And you might have to scrape down the sides once or twice while you're doing this, but just keep blending until it is all a nice consistency. And then I just store this in a jar in the refrigerator. I think I only made a half batch here, which is why the jar is only half full. So a meal prep is not complete without a sweet treat. And this is one that you can eat either for dessert or for breakfast because it's really healthy. It's a chocolate chia pudding and it is delicious. I made a full video on this um, not too long ago, so I will link that here and in the description box below so you can get the complete directions on how to make this. Okay, so we're going to make one more thing, which is actually optional. 
If you feel lazy like I do sometimes, you could just open a can of corn and add that to your burrito bowl or your wrap or whatever. But if you want to make it a lot more flavorful, I suggest doing this. It's really quick and easy. I'm basically just sauteing some onion, some corn, some bell pepper, and throwing in some garlic and a can of green chilies. And this makes a really easy chili corn hash. I'm also throwing some taco seasoning on there and just giving it a quick stir. And this really takes like five minutes or less to make, but adds so much flavor to your meals. You can throw it into your burrito bowl or your taco bowl or into a wrap. You could put it in tofu scramble. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with it. So here I'm putting together my burrito bowl slash taco bowl. I've got my rice, beans, my lettuce or salad really, and some roasted sweet potatoes, some avocado for some healthy fats, a little of my corn and chili hash, and spreading some of that delicious cilantro lime sauce. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is amazing. I am kind of obsessed with it. I've been putting it on everything. And then I added some salsa. I kind of use this as my salad dressing. So I like it hot, but if you like mild, you do you. And then I'm squeezing a generous amount of lime juice and a little cilantro on top. And this is so delicious and filling and satisfying with so many different flavors going on in there. So now I'm going to show you another recipe that you can make with the ingredients that we prepped. This is one of my favorite things to make. It is great for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I mean, it's such a versatile thing. So I took one of those whole roasted sweet potatoes and just cut it in half, um, put a little bit of nutritional yeast on there. I'm going to add some of the beans. And then I'm adding some of the kale just straight on top because I'm just going to stick this in the microwave and when you do that with the kale, it will just wilt in the microwave and be the right texture. So once that has all been microwaved and the whole potato is heated through, I just add my avocado on top. And then I am adding some of those pickled onions that we made. Mmm, so good. This is a really hearty and filling and delicious meal that, like I said, you can eat any time of day. And I really like to take this one when I have to go to work. Um, if there's a microwave available, I can just heat it up when I get to work for breakfast or lunch. And this is a recipe that is in my free ebook, which is five easy on the go to recipes because they are easy recipes that you can take on the go with you to school or work or wherever. The ebook is totally free and you can find the link for that in the description box below. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. All of these things really help my videos get seen so that I can help more people on their plant-based journey. Don't forget to download the free PDF meal plan and get meal prepping today. You won't regret it. I'll see you later. Bye!